Hey guys! I'm back with a new channel called Hungry Harmony 2.0, which kind of means it's my second channel that I hope I won't mess up. Yay! <laughs> Hello to all my subscribers who probably never watched this video, but maybe hopefully will. I'm hoping that you guys will, because I'm very sad because I did lose because I'm very sad that I did um, lose all my 995 subscribers. I was so close to a thousand, but then I did get a third strike in my last channel, and uh, let me just tell you guys this, especially YouTube. Okay, I don't know if anyone experienced a third strike, but um, I think I got one. That's why my channel was terminated. Because seriously, like, um. I didn't get an email or like a notification like, Hi Hungry Harmony, you got a third strike. Your channel is now terminated. I didn't get any of that. Like if I would understand, I would have understood if YouTube would have sent me an email of, Oh, this video involved your third strike on your channel. Sorry to say this, but your channel is terminated. I would have been fine with that. But since they didn't give me anything, I am just concerned, like, what did I do wrong, in a way? Like, what was my copyrighted strike? And if it was, what? It just, I don't understand these things as much as probably other people do, but I just wondered why they didn't just send me an email. That would have been so much nicer. Like, send me an email? Thank you. Good to know. I messed up. My bad. Um, but hopefully for my new channel, I'll do a lot better. I am going to do more live reactions, however, I might do it in a different way. Like, you guys will see my face and stuff, just, it'll be a little bit different. Um, some things might not be different, some things will be, but I'll be very more careful on my strikes. So if I get two strikes again, hopefully not, be, I'll, be try to, I'll try to be more careful. But if I get two strikes again, I'll have to, you know, wait those three months, so... Not that I didn't wait, I was going to wait for my three months for my last, um, channel. However, I woke up the next day and my YouTube was terminated. Like, I didn't even know. So, that was kind of rude and mean, in a way, I felt like. I'm like, okay. Like, I wasn't even going to post any live reaction videos. The last one I posted was telling people, one more strike, then I'm out. That was the last video I put up. And then... Like, that was only up for a day, and the next day, literally, the, the day before I even got a, the second strike, I just got terminated. What? It's interesting how these strikes work, because I heard a lot of YouTubers are getting strikes for videos they have done. Like, copyrighted strikes for videos they have done, like, a year ago, or in the past. And I gotta say, I feel like that's very unfair. I feel like if you already posted something in the past, like maybe a year ago or even like a month ago, you should maybe get, like, I feel like YouTube should give us a notice, oh, yes, this video you put up, so like this video has some copyright stuff in it. So for the next uh, three days, if you don't remove it, remove it, you'll get a strike. I think that would go way better, even though it's a video you've done a year ago, you can have the decision to edit it and re-upload it. Yeah, just re-upload it, just take off the stuff that they think it's copyrighted. Or just delete the video. Like, just take it off your channel. I think that would be way more, like, reasonable to give them a strike when you give them a warning. I mean, I know strike one is a warning, strike two is a warning. But if you give them strikes that they have done videos, like, in the past, like, a year ago or two years ago even, like those old videos, it doesn't seem, in a way, kind of fair. I don't know. People do have the copyright use, uh, like the fair use uh, code law, which people use, and that means it's fair use. You don't have to ask for permission from the owner because it's this fair use. You're using it for only commentary or educational purposes or criticism or something like that. Like, people know they won't own something, they can't take claim to something that they obviously don't. Oh, it's very obvious. That's why the code of fair use is there. But yeah, just to add on, like, YouTube, I recommend you giving us 
a forewarning, especially if you're going to give us a strike on something or someone else is trying to claim or give us a strike on something, YouTube, please let the YouTuber know that, oh, this video contains copyright content, which would result in a strike. So please take it down for in the next two days or you'll get a strike. I think that would help YouTubers uh, do better at making their videos. I think I would have done better if I knew like, oh, this video is going to get a strike. I don't want to strike. Boom. I'll take it off. I'll take it off. If, if people claim it, totally. I think a lot of YouTubers might agree. I don't know. I never asked them, but <laughs> I just feel bad for those who, who got all three strikes and the third strike, they never know. They never knew why they got the strike. I don't know why I got this. If I got a strike, I just got, I just woke up terminated. I'm like, what did I do? I just went to sleep and woke up and got terminated. I knew I got my second strike. So I was like, okay, I uploaded my last video, not last video, but like my last video of, you know, one more strike. Yeah, I already said that, but, and you know, I wasn't going to post, um, anything that was copyrighted for the next three months. And then I get a, and then I get a strike. Was it on my last video? I don't know. If I knew if it was on my latest video that I put up that I got a strike, I wish I would known so I know what it was. But since I wasn't told, how am I supposed to know or how am I supposed to learn from this if I don't even know what the strike or the copyrighted section was? Please, YouTube. I know you guys are trying to do your best to help the YouTubers, the community, so that it would work out in everyone's best interest, hopefully. But yeah, please, please change that when you give a strike, give them, a, give everyone at least a two day or even a day warning, like an email saying that this uh, video that you uploaded will get a strike if you don't do something about it in the next day or maybe next two days. How about that? I think that would prepare YouTubers to do better on their content, on their videos and just other things. Yeah, this was more of a rant than a welcome back to my channel thing. I just really wanted to point out what I have experienced and just I hope that other YouTubers maybe will relate or understand also my reasoning for just getting like getting a third strike. If any of you got a third strike on your YouTube channel, please let me know. Please let me know what did you do or if YouTube has sent you emails or haven't sent you emails on why you got your third strike, please let me know. If you have, please let me know as well so that I know why didn't YouTube send me a email for my third strike. I don't know. But I hope, I hope to do better for my future channel and I can't wait to interact with you guys again and I hope I can get all my subscribers back. I pray that I can get all my subscribers back. I do miss you guys and just, I hope I can get you guys back. If not, that's okay. This is a journey again. So I'm starting a new journey with a new name. Hungry Harmony 2.0. But I'll still have my farewell. Hungry Harmony out. Be awesome, everyone. I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel again.